Hello children, today's book is by Franz Kafka and it is called The Metamorphosis and yes I'm not wearing pants. It is a mind tingler children and yes it is a lovely book, depressing, full of alienation, helplessness, anxiety and of course symbolically showing Franz Kafka's mental isolation due to his father and how he expected only him to be so very perfect. <laughs> Franz Kafka felt like less of a person due to how his father treated him. And of course, in this book, which is most likely an autobiography, we realize that Gregor Samsa one day wakes up as a bug. Ah, ah. Chapter 1. When Gregor Samsa woke up one morning, he found himself changed in his bed into a monstrous vermin. He was lying on his back as hard as armor plate, and when he lifted his head a little, he saw his vaulted brown belly sectioned by arch-shaped ribs, to whose dome the cover, about to slide off completely, could barely cling. His many legs, pitiful, thin, compared with the size of the rest of him, were waving helplessly before his eyes. What's happened to me? He thought. It was no dream. His room, a regular human room, only a little on the small side, lay quiet between the four familiar walls. Over the table, on which an unpacked line of fabric samples was all spread out, Samsa was a travelling salesman, hung the picture which he had recently cut out of a glossy magazine and lodged in a pretty gilt frame. It showed a lady done up in a fur hat. Gregor's eyes then turned to the window. And the overcast weather, he could hear raindrops hitting against the metal window ledge completely depressed him. How about going back to sleep for a few minutes and forgetting all this nonsense? He thought, but that was completely impractical. Since he was used to sleeping on his right side and in his present state could not get into that position. No matter how hard he threw himself onto his right side, he always rocked onto his back again. He must have tried it a hundred times, closing his eyes, so as not to have to see his squirming legs, and stopped only when he began to feel a slight, dull pain in his side, which he had never felt before. My god, this book is depressing. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Well, here we go, children. Now at the uh, end of the book. Gregor staggered at the gigantic size of the soles of his boots, but he did not linger over this. He had known right from the first day of his new life that his father considered only the strictest treatment called for in dealing with him. And so he ran ahead of his father, stopped when his father stood still, and scooted ahead again when his father made even the slightest movement. In this way, they made more than one tour of the room, without anything decisive happening. In fact, the whole movement did not even have the appearance of a chase because of its slow tempo. So Gregor kept to the floor for the time being. At the moment, a lightly flung object hit the floor near him and rolled in front of him. It was an apple. A second one came flying right after it. Gregor stopped dead with the fear. Further running was useless, for his father was determined to bombard him. He had, his, he had filled his pockets from from the fruit bowl on the buffet and was now pitching one apple after another for the time being without taking good aim. These little red apples rolled around on the floor as if electrified, clicking into one another. One apple thrown weakly grazed Gregor's back and slid off harmlessly, but the very next one came flying after it literally forced its way into Gregor's back. Gregor tried to drag himself away, as if unbelievable pain might disappear with a change of place. But he felt nailed to the spot, and he stretched out his body in a complete confusion of all his senses. With his last glance, he saw the door of his room burst open as his mother rushed out ahead of his screaming sister in her chemise. 
for his sister had partly undressed her while she was unconscious in order to let her breathe more freely. Saw his mother run up to his father, and on the way her unfastened petticoats slide to the floor one by one. And saw as, stumbling over the skirts, she forced herself onto his father and embracing him in complete union with him. But now Gregor's sight went dim, her hands clasping his father's neck begged for Gregor's life. And that is all I'm reading today, children. Does it have a happy ending? Yes! <laughs>